Hey everyone, in this video, I'm showing you how to build this base. I've used this base in vanilla and modded in community servers. Um, I don't have an official name for it. Watch the video through to the end. Let me know what strikes your fancy, what this base should be called. It's equipped with fake TC rooms. It's equipped with a basement, shotgun trap angles that will make your raiders have nightmares. It's got all the fixings, folks. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments when the video is all done, including that base title. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, now getting into the building of the base. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is find a relatively flat area just like this, nice and flat. There's a rock right there, just kind of avoid that a little bit. I'll kind of build right between it, right around here. You know, by the monument, by the road, the boonies, wherever. Uh, floats your boat. They're gonna grab your building plan, move it all the way down, that's the lowest, most point you can build. Kind of move it out until it goes up a little bit to give yourself a little bit of leeway. I like to look at that second bigger log there. That's kind of a good spot. You get a little bit of uh, flexibility there. And then you're gonna do a twig two by two, just like this. Then at this point, you're gonna wanna grab some triangle foundations and you're gonna wanna build two triangle foundations on one of the four sides of the square, the big square you just built. So I like to build it on the side that's opposite from which I think raiders might come. So if there's a massive clan that island was closer, that sort of thing, and I anticipate they might try to raid me, I would not build it towards them, I'd build it on the opposite side of them, over here. Same thing on the hill over there, if I thought there was, you know, there's a big quad living up there, they're aggressive and salty and I door camped them and I, you know, made them angry. I would not build towards them, I'd build it on the opposite side here, just like that. After you've done that, get some full-size walls and wall off the two triangle sides like that. Then you're going to get a half wall and place it on the other three sides of the square just like this. And you're going to want to upgrade that, lickety split, give yourself some cover if you have to fight off some grief creepers or whatever. Alright, so you got some cover at least. At this point, you're going to choose one of the two triangles to put the TC in. So it doesn't really matter which of the two you put it in. Um, I don't think there's any benefit either which way. Let me know if you think there is, but anywho, pick one of the two, and then you're gonna get the floor here. And you're gonna build a floor just like that, creating the basement of the base. Get a half wall then, and stone off that TC, just like so. Same thing with this side, stone it off like this. And this is sort of your kind of secret-ish hatch that you'll see to get down to your basement. So at this point, you're going to want to lock your TC, uh, you know, throw some boxes down or whatever, and then get a low wall here, place it right there, stone it off. And then at this point, you know, if they come over and raid your, you know, your base or get your TC, you know, if it's locked off here, they destroy it. They're going to have to be pretty quick in order to get all the loot before it falls in that, you know, gray box. Uh, so it's a nice little cheeky thing to do if you need to. After that, you're going to get a half or a, uh, what's it called? A wall frame, thank you. Place it on right there and stone or metal this off. If you have the metal for it, make it metal and you'll see why later. It's a little more discreet and hidden. But for now, you know, might have stone, so stone it off. And grab that garage door and you're going to want to place it for the rolly thing, see right now it's facing out towards the top bar by the top of the wall frame there. Right now it's in, out, in, keep it in. If it's in like this, you'll see why it's important in a little bit, but it's a little more hidden from raiders that might come and try to rain on your parade here. So at this point, you sort of have a functional base, granted it's not you know, door, uh, air locked or anything like that, but it's something to work with. Uh, if you have the shotgun trap, it's a great idea to place it down right here. Load her up with some shotgun shells, and then you know get a half wall here so they can't just go around it, just like that. Also helps the stability of the base for later updates and upgrades. And now if they jump down, they'll get blasted and sent to oblivion. So at this point, you're in a pretty good spot, and now you're gonna work towards expanding the base. So for this, you're going to just get some normal sized walls, place it on the two sides like so, half walls on this side like so, and then pick um, whatever opposites, uh, whatever the corner, whatever you would call the geo geometry turn, but uh, not straight across from where the basement hatch is, but one over to the side here. This is gonna increase the amount of raid 
and confusion uh, for the raiders. Make this a wall then, and then upgrade all those guys to stone or metal or whatever you have available. So at this point you're in a pretty good spot. Uh, you're going to want to get that roof on though here. Somebody's boosting up. Stone that off. Lickety split. Slap down the door like so. And now you're off to the races. So at this point you're in a pretty good spot. Uh, you can be farming, you can be upgrading your base, doing whatever you want to do. Um, whatever your sort of style of playing is, you know, go for it that way. What I like to do at this point is put a window right here facing directly across from the door. That way if somebody is coming to raid me, you know, I could at least put up a fight uh, against them. So I like to put typically a horizontal embrasure and put it on the window right here. That way if you know you're fighting somebody here, you can shoot, 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 and then kind of duck down. You know, dip your head down obviously, but it gives you a little more of a fighting chance. At this point too, I have to slap down some wall frames here and here and then upgrade those as soon as you're able as well just like that so what i like to do for the doors the, the double doors here is i like to have a sheet metal you know door or an armored double door swinging towards that door right there so i like to put it right there like so and now you have an airlock here um, i'm not sure if you can get boosted through this or you know push through this Again, I haven't seen it in a while, but it's possible if you checked out my previous video, same sort of concept, my preferred airlock here. And on here, you know, of course you could slap down a shotgun trap here, and that's gonna give you more defense here. The other two I typically do, uh, garage doors here and here. So at this point, you got a pretty good defensible base, um, but now comes sort of the sneaky part of the base. So at this point, it's a basic two by two, it's kind of with a, with a basement, uh, pretty obvious, you know, it's a basement from the outside. Somebody's running around out here. You know, they might not think it's a basement, but they might get suspicious. They might give it a little, you know, a little try here. So at this point, if they're going to come and rage it, you're going to want to do something a little more sneaky with the jump down here. So what I'll do at this point, if I have the metal for it, I'll turn this into metal, uh, sheet metal or armored. It makes it a little less a little more discreet and then at this point is sort of the camouflage uh, principle versus you know the armored raid defense sort of sort of stuff I'll get a rug I'll place it right in the middle right here that's blocked almost all the garage door right there if you get a bear rug if you can find one have it face up and down so the heads facing up and then kind of move it over to the corner here like that now it looks just like you know a regular part of the wall i'll then get you know other bear rugs and you know kind of slap them up randomly make me look like sort of a role player here maybe like that that you know what have you so at this point when a raider comes in knocks it over they're not going to immediately know it's there um it's a little more hidden and discreet and i'll show you at the next sort of phase of the of the base, which will further sort of disrupt the raider's uh, raiding path. So at this point, you're in a pretty good spot. Um, now you're gonna wanna do the honeycomb. So if you don't know, honeycomb is just a way essentially to increase the raid cost um, from a raider going straight through the wall. So they're gonna go straight through this wall here. Uh, it'd be one stone wall. You know, putting honeycomb in like this makes it a little more expensive, doubles that, that raid cost for those rascally raiders. Do the other side here, just like dish. And now we're good to go. All right, now for the grant entrance. So first and foremost, grab that triangle foundation, slap that on the three areas in front of the front door here, then grab some wall frames and wall frame off all three sides like so. And then you're gonna grab a shop front and put it on this side and the far other side. If you don't already use shop fronts in your base design, they're super strong, stronger than a uh, stone wall, and you can see all the way around, great visibility. Then you're gonna grab uh, next a triangle foundation, like so, upgrade that. And then you're gonna do the half wall, low wall shooting angle thing. I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. Uh, upgrade those top ones to stone, and then destroy the lower two half walls, replace them with a low wall, stone them off, 
now you have a fantastic shooting uh, anti-door camping uh, shooting angle. At this point now, you're going to want to grab the floor triangle frame and put it dissecting that front door right in half here. And the other two spots are going to have some uh, stone, uh, stone triangle floors. Upgrade all those to stone, of course. And uh, if you don't have it already, you can always put a uh, double door in front of the shooting area here, so you can choose when to shoot out of it, and you won't get you know shot through it by some some grubs. So at this point too, hopefully you have uh, BPs, uh, triangle triangle ladder hatch is a great one to have. Uh, you're gonna want to have this one open uh, along the uh, shop front right here, just like this. So at this point now, uh, you have uh, access to the roof of your base through jumping up there. It also dissects this door here, and if you put you know a shotgun trap here, and I put one here a second ago too, uh, it covers the top part here if people are jumping up here. And then it covers the bottom part down here as well. I'm not sure what this guy is up to. It looks like nonsense. Okay, he's gone. Um, build service, huh? Anyway, all right. So at this point, you have a pretty good uh, tactical advantage for getting door camped here and there. And then next, you're going to kind of build that attic second shooting floor area, which I'll show you in a second here. Um, so upgrade this as well just like so. And at this point now you're gonna get low walls. You're gonna put them all around the corner like this. Great, all of those. And then you're going to stone off uh, these areas. Uh, but you're also gonna get a floor triangle frame and place it on the far side here uh, to get up to your roof. So upgrade all those to stone like that. Grab that ladder hatch and have it placed uh, facing this way, so you can easily get up to your base, just like so. And now you can get in and out, next is to your roof. Alright, and then of course, as well, to add additional security, you know, you can throw in some shotgun traps, uh, those different key angles here, the one right there, right over here. Uh, now what you've done is you've created a super hard to raid um, entrance, so you can upgrade that to metal if you have it as well. And what this does is it makes it super e easy to block that entrance from folks if they're raiding through, you know, that shooting area or have come down through here, then they raid it down through here. Let's say, you know, they knocked out uh, this ladder hatch like so. You still have this bar dissecting the door. And if you don't already know as well, uh, siren lights are a great thing to have in your anti-raid box. Highly recommend having a box for uh, when you're getting raided. You can just plop down one siren light right there, and it's now impossible to get there. They can't get through the top part, they can't get through that bottom part. Um, put other deployables down there as well. Again, siren lights are a great thing to have, ready to go. All right, now on for this second sneaky part of the base. All right, gonna hop on out of the base here, just like so. I gotta kind of crouch jump through the ladder hatches, if I didn't mention that already. It's kind of tricky, but again, it's harder for the raiders as well. Hop on out of here. And then you're gonna go and pick one of the three sides of honeycomb are on slash the entrance. Um, so this side, there's this side, and then there's this side as well. So what you're gonna do now is build some false TC room. So grab that triangle foundation and put them here and here, a couple of roofs there as well. Uh, if you have metal, you're actually gonna want to metal, you know, that roof off right there. And you'll see why in a little bit. Uh, put a wall right here. Grab a doorway, put it right there, and then slap down an, a door or armor door if you have it, even better. And then you're going to grab a window, put that there. If you have a re reinforced glass window, use those. Otherwise, you can also use strengthened glass window and slap it right there. So now what you've done is you've made essentially a diversion slash something that will be in the back of the Raider's mind. Now they might see this, they might remember this later on, you know, if they drill through those two ladder hatches, that front door, going around those, you know, those armor doors, those garage doors, and then they get to your core, what they think is their core, and they don't see the TC. And hopefully they haven't discovered that basement, and you, know, you can put that tier three in front of the basement as well, uh, in front of those rugs and bear rugs, hiding that basement entrance. But anyway, they're gonna remember back to seeing these reinforced windows here. 
And, you know, if they're curious and they're good raiders, they're gonna walk around and look at those different windows and they're gonna see through the window that, oh, there's a door down there. Maybe the, you know, maybe the, maybe the TC is in there. So, you know, the ladder's probably up all over your base and that's a good way to get in and out by the way too. Just a triangle foundation and a half wall. And they're gonna see that, you know, that armored or that sheet middled, you know, triangle right there. And they're gonna think to themselves, oh, that TC is probably in there. This guy's pretty cheeky. But actually, as you know, there's nothing in there. You could put a box in there and store some loot in there. Maybe put a note in there with a sassy saying for him as well. You're gonna do the same thing then to the other uh, two sides of the base. Again, just a couple of stone foundations. That wall on the one side. Put that doorway right here. Put that around. Maybe upgrade this one as well. Be extra cheeky with them. Uh, window right here and armored off right there. Same thing. Now it's two windows that the TC might have in it. Same thing here. Just like two. So. And bada bing, bada boom. Alright, so now they have three options to choose from for things that might have the TC in it might not have the TC in it. You know, they drilled through your core. They're not sure why it's not in there. Again, upgrade that to metal as well. Uh, they're thinking, oh, there's a one in three chance I'll get right to TC here. Uh, but as you know, it's not in any of those. So that's a lot of boom. If they've drilled through to your core, what they think is your core, and they drilled through all three of those window fake decoy uh, TC bases here. So a couple other things I'll throw in for tips again. And I've already mentioned that Siren Light uh, trick right there. Uh, New Year's Gong is a great deployable uh, to place in front of doors. If you haven't seen my last video, uh, use deployables, folks. You, know, you have large batteries, you have the gongs, you have sirens. You know, place those things in front of your door when you get off. You know, they're cheap and you probably aren't using them anyway. And they're a great way to you know slow down those raid defenses. Again, if you have that tier three, you, know, you can also put that, you know, in front of the entrance as well. You know, throw in some you know, boxes, kind of make yourself look like you have, you know, some like issues going on in terms of your organization. You know, if you're super cheeky, you can put a sign on the wall saying like, you know, get wrecked, get raided, that sort of thing. Um, make them look like, you know, you're not well, and make them look like you got raided, or maybe you just hermit crap the base and turn it into some weird. ADHD fueled sort of nightmare. Yeah, but let me know what you think in the comments of the base. You know, what should I call this? Uh, I sh I've shared this video and this base design that I use uh, per a comment from DC DK six do 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 do. do. Um, anywho, uh, let me know what you think of the the base. What should I call the base? Uh, any other requests or ideas or things you wanted to share or me to show you? So thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to. Subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video.